Are are you ready for the awful, horrible? Yeah, you you got yes, you. Yes, you we... got you. Okay, well, let's get started then. You gotta have a cuddly hippo for when it gets horrifying. Oh, we have a piece de resistance this week. It's coming, but first off, each week Catherine goes out onto the worldwide interwebs, <laughs> finds all sorts of horrible stuff, and brings it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And, um, where do we begin this week? Um, well, you, uh, you know, it's hard economic times, and uh, sometimes you have you have trouble getting gifts for the people you care about. Uh, I've had yeah. that problem this last year. You know that problem? Yeah. Well, this guy uh, from uh, Amador County, California, had an interesting solution to this dilemma. Let me send you the the story. Um. Cops, man steals gifts from gravesite, gives <coughs> out to spend sales items from gift site, gives out his gifts. Uh, that's it. Uh, a registered sex offender is accused of oh, stealing. Awesome. Yeah, that, that that's a gr- there's nowhere to go but down at that. That's point. just a cherry on top of the awesome cake already. Yeah. A uh a registered sex offender is accused of stealing mementos and flowers from grave sites and then giving them to neighbors as gifts. For this month, uh, Amador County Sheriff's deputies were called about items stolen from grave sites and ma- mausoleums in the Sunset View Cemetery. Detectives identified the alleged thief from surveillance videos as a registered sex offender, Jimmy Ray Goodall. Jimmy Ray. Of course, his name is Jimmy, Jimmy Ray, um, of course. He took items from kids to war veterans uh, at his home. That's a poorly constructed sentence. Yeah, he took items from people ranging from kids to war veterans. That makes it sound like he took kids and war veterans from the cemetery, which is a whole other... That's a whole other crime. Fucked up type of crime. At his home, investigators found uh, items from the cemetery. Items stolen from the cemetery were also found at the homes of his neighbors, who told deputies they were gifts from Goodall. You know, you'd think at some point someone would have caught on when uh, he kept giving them uh, uh, f- bouquets of flowers that read, uh, sorry for your loss. Or were in the shape of crosses. Yeah. Maybe he's just really religious. Yeah. Maybe he just likes Jesus. But what other more. kind of... Mo- well, I, I guess, I mean, I've known people that leave, like, little figurines yeah, and I stuff. Know. Little tchotchkes and stuff. They put, like, Especially teddy if it's bears. a child's grave, they leave like a precious moments or yeah. something. Put like teddy bears and Hot Wheels and stuff <laughs> on kids. You know, it, that's just who does that? Who the fuck goes? You know what? I could go by the dollar store, or you know what? The mausoleum's open this time a night. I, I think I'll stop by. I'm assuming he figured they're not using them, <sighs> but still, no, no. Somebody bought that for their dead grandma, and if whether or not you think grandma's going to appreciate it in her current state, yeah, it's, it doesn't fucking matter. It's not yours. It's not yours. It's just new. That's creepy. It's not yours. No touchy. I mean, you know, at, at least when Indiana Jones does that shit, it's for like gold. It's for like precious heirlooms. Let's be. Even- and at least when Lara Croft does it, she does it in Daisy Dukes. <laughs> you just had to get one of those in there for yourself, didn't you? No, it was for Hope. Oh, okay. I hope. Oh, just ah, uh, don't do this. And look, yeah, at- it's just that's just tacky. Oh, and like, how bad? How pissed off would you be if you were one of these people that got one of those gifts? Well, realizing I- that like he stole shit from the cemetery. Because it couldn't be ours to give give you a real gift. Well, you know, if I'm one of his neighbors and he just keeps handing me these knickknacks, I'm kind of already a little skeptical to begin with. Uh, the guy everybody just knows, everybody knows somebody who's a crummy gift giver who always gives you something that you don't really want or that you know is not relevant to your interests. You know. Yeah, but eventually, that's one thing. Eventually, but it's a whole different thing to find out that that was stolen from dead people. Honey. 
Yeah, uh, Jimmy Ray's got us another load of ceramic angels. I'll just put them next to the others. We got like 12 in the, in the garage. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let's 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 head on. Um, often on this show, one one of the things that's coming sort of your hallmark is uh, giving tips to crooks. It would seem. Um, hey, who knew I was such a master criminal? Not me. Did you ever use a fake ID when you were younger? No. No. A square that no. I never did either. But I did know people who did, and at least when they used the fake ID. One, I would think one of the fundamentals of a fake ID is that the picture should look like you, right? Yes. Yes, it should. Well, this guy from Brazil obviously didn't get that, uh, that wasn't there for that part of the class that day. Um, Brazilian cops bust man using fake Nicholson ID. Really? <sighs> And the first line of this this story, this guy was stretching. Some people just can't handle the truth. Others have a tough time with the lies, too. Civil police in the northeast Brazilian city of Recife. Is that how you say that? Um, I believe that is. Um, maybe Recife? He he arrested Ricardo Sergio Freire de Barros. That's a hell of a name there. As he tried to open a bank account using a fake ID with a picture of Jack Nicholson. Yeah, that's a small problem. The 41-year-old Barros looks nothing like the 74-year-old Oscar-winning American actor. One of the most recognizable men in the world. Yeah, um... Even if it's someone you look like, you should not use famous people for your fake ID. Well, like, huck it on down to the $2 photo booth and get a picture taken. It's not that hard. Yes, but 74 years old, 41 years old. Yeah. Well, I guess he probably figured, because, you know, Jack Nicholson is still sleeping with 25-year-olds, that it probably... Oh, he canceled out. Yeah. In the middle, you know? Yeah. But, yeah, no, maybe not so much choosing famous people, because they're going to get recognized as not being you. It's Jack Nicholson. I mean, yeah. if somebody at the bank got an ID with fucking Nicholson on it, the first thing they do is, number one, they think, Jack Nicholson is open at a bank account, and number two, wait a second. Then they realize the name on said ID is not Jack Nicholson, mm. nor are you. Something's not right about this. Yeah. You aren't Jack Nicholson. Ah. Because, goddamn, it would take them, like, anyone with a reasonable brainstem functioning. Half a second, they'd kind of catch Well, that's on. asking a lot for this show. Let's be fair. True, true. It just... <laughs> This is poor people. And also, Jack Nicholson, I read a bio on him, and, like, he was raised in a really messed up situation where he thought that his mother was his sister for his whole childhood. No, I'm totally serious. Like, he was raised by his grandmother, who he thought was his mother, and they told him that his mother was his sister because his mom got pregnant really young, and that was their whole way of covering it up. And he didn't find out until he was a grown-up. So, maybe they thought, well... He doesn't know who his family is. I don't know. I'm stretching. Where are we going? I don't know. Where? Did, how did we get here? This is not my beautiful house. This is not my beautiful wife. My God, what have we done? Do you have a beautiful wife? Because Hope's going to be pissed. No. Just, or is there something you and Hope would like to tell us? But yeah, if you're gonna, if you're going to attempt a crime, <laughs> planning the yeah. first step. One. Well, no, they planned enough to get a fake ID. They just were really dumb about it. While oh, we're on the topic of popular culture, um. Yes, I know he was quoting a song, people. Good lord. <laughs> Didn't you know he was quoting? I was quoting the song. You knew that, right? I was. You knew that. Ah, uh, the internet. We can never, never forget that 
your first priority is to be as pedantic as possible. Um, so other cultures have different takes than we do. And obviously that's, that's different cultural things happen and it's hard to equalize and it's hard to look at one and go, well, that's just wrong. Sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's just plain weird. Apparently, Bangkok has picked up a uh, a sort of cultural trend that is rather baffling. Hitler chic. Why is Ronald McDonald Hitler? I. D- <laughs> I'll take. There's a question I never thought I'd have to ask in my life. I'll take things I thought I'd never have to say in my life for a thousand, Alex. Oh, wait, it's the Daily Double. Why is Ronald McDonald Hitler? Its head has since been covered by a Lucha Libre wrestler's mask. Oh, well, that's okay, then. Um, Uh, Cartoon uh, Pandas, Teletubbies, Ronald McDonald. At first glance, they don't seem to have much in common beyond a certain... I'm getting echo off you. Uh, childlike quality. But during a visit to Bangkok, you may discover uh, another trait of these uh, popular cultural icons now share. Their resemblance to Adolf Hitler. Apparently what's going on is all these different cultural things. There are stores. There are Hitler stores in in Bangkok. I'm going to show you some of these pictures here. Um, Now let, let, let's go through and look. So we got like the, the Hitler... Uh, um, yeah, you got your Hitler panda. Wait, that's wrong. Oh my god! Find the right button here. Yeah, you got like the Hitler panda. Yeah, you got got the Ronald McDonald Hitler. Okay, uh, you you got your Hitler Teletubby, which is you know for the kids, and uh, you've got the the Nazi headphones, which you know that's but the the problem that's resulting from this. Is that uh, the uh, the the foreign people are coming into the city and, and and looking at this and going, what the fuck? What I think that's a fair question. But apparently these thirty somethings they just think, oh Hitler cute, Hitler is cute, we like Hitler, he's cute. Um, killed six million Jews, guys, but he's cute. I, I just... Wow. Okay. I don't... And you would think that... 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 That tie... That... 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 that, 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 that the countries that have been through these kind of issues... Would kind of be... Have a problem with dictators. With, with people, you know... But... But no... No, apparently, apparently, all you have to do to be a dictator and be adored is to be cute. It's It's not that I like Hitler, the t-shirt artist insists, but he looks funny, and the shirts are very popular with young people. He looks funny? That's your justification? Now, to be fair... We have a cat. Well, my, my yes, hopes, I know about Kitler. Hope's roommate. But has you're a not cat. marketing Kitler. No, and now another thing is, we didn't draw the mustache on the cat. The cat was born that way. The cat was born. Like Lady like, Gaga, that cat is embracing it, and more power to you, Kitler. It's hilarious because the cat was born looking like Hitler. We didn't make a cat that looked like Hitler and went, oh, it's so cute, it looks like Hitler. No, it was born that way. It's weird. That's what makes it funny. Other t-shirt designs boast Photoshop prints of the Fuhrer, including one depicting him sunbathing naked on a tropical beach. Important question, how many balls does he have? True. Is it accurate? True. That's, that is, a, that, you know what? got to think about these things is your depiction if you're gonna if you're gonna do naked cheesecake hitler he better be missing a ball just saying otherwise it would just be completely disrespectful exactly yeah god damn it all right look i have no problem with other countries having different cultural things going on and and their own pop thing. that's fine but this is really goddamn offensive you know that there's 
There's no question here. You can't ma market stuff with Nazi paraphernalia and say, oh, but it's popular. No, you can't do that. Well, I mean, you can. Obviously, you can. But you shouldn't do that. <sighs> Isn't this the same country where they, like, hunt you down if you say anything bad about the president? Yeah. Or the king? No, no, no. That's, that's a different one. There's a lot of them. Pretty wasn't that Thailand? I'm pretty sure that was Thailand. Was it the king? Was it? It is the king of Thailand. Yeah, it is Thailand. The king. You can't make fun of the king of Thailand. See, you can't make fun of the king of Thailand, but you can totally fucking roll around in Ronald McDonald Hitler. <sighs> that. Mm. Let's move on. Um, you know. Parenting is a tough job, and, and sometimes you need to blow off a little steam. Um, but normally that, that does not involve uh, uh, setting fires to generate it. Um, this is from Australia. Uh, a Kalgoori husband and wife would hire a babysitter to look after their children go out to dinner, and then drive the streets looking for abandoned cars to set a light. Couple is told, the court was told the couple's... Before you say, oh, okay, at least they got a babysitter, wait for it. The court was told the couple's two-and-a-half-year-old twins would sometimes be in the car while their dad committed arson. That's not a bonding activity! That's not fun family time. Alan Robert Sloan and Rebecca Louise Sloan pleaded guilty yesterday to a string of arson attacks on homes, businesses, and abandoned cars, but said they had no explanation for their bizarre behavior. Sloan no, pled that's not acceptable. You gotta give a reason for that shit. <laughs> nope, just felt like it. We go out on date night and set shit on fire. Why? Dunno. No. No. <laughs> Sloan pleaded, you need to have a fucking reason, even if that reason is because the neighbor's dog told me to. <laughs> Make up a fucking reason. <laughs> Sloan pled guilty to 19 charges of damaging, pro damaging property by fire, including two where he threw Molotov cocktails through the open house windows in South Calgary. Hey, kids, you watching? All right, now this is how daddy throws a Molotov. You have to keep it upright. Uh, don't let Eddie spill. Just chuck it really hard. There you go. Now, which one of you wants to try? You know, it's... <laughs> it became somewhat of an activity, a break from the children. You need a break from your children. You go to a movie. Maybe a sporting event. Go bowling. Go away for a weekend. Go you know, kayaking. Like Something. So, do anything but set random shit that doesn't belong to you on fire. Hell, you know what? Set your own shit on fire if you want. Right. To. You know, it's Australia. Right. There's a lot of open territory. Nobody gives a fuck about. Go find some of that. Take your shit out there well, and yes, burn it. It's Australia. All that open territory is filled by nature that wants to kill you. Oh, yeah. And can do so in particularly horrifying ways. Well, you know what? Go fight nature. You're in Australia. You want to get away yeah. from the kids? Yeah, exactly. Go you fight need to nature. The kids, go fight three foot spiders. That there you go. Shoot, like acid webs at you. It, which probably. Oh, wait, that's not Australia. That's the mist. Whatever. They probably have those. There. It might be in Australia. It might. You don't know. It's Australia. That was probably like a travel diary of Stephen King's Australian vacation. That whole movie. Yeah, probably, yeah. Just goddamn. Uh, okay. Um, the next one you're you're not going to be happy about. I'm not happy about. No one. This is a squick warning for everyone in the channel. If you are easily squicked, um, this this is a little squicky. So, uh, from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Oh God, help us. Man sentenced to two years for semen-tainted yogurt. Gross! I told you! 
Grocery worker accused of handing out a semen-tainted yogurt sample has been sentenced to two years in prison. Anthony Garcia pled guilty in October. Nasha has no link. Oh, I just sent it to you. No. The MSNBC one. I'll send it again. There it is. It didn't make the sound. Well, there it is. Okay. It didn't make the little boop. Okay. Um... He pled guilty to the case in October, admitting he con contaminated a sample of the yogurt he was handing out at an Albuquerque sunflower market. Garcia also admitted putting some of his semen on a plastic spoon that he placed with the yogurt. The 32-year-old man then approached a female customer and offered her a sample. Gross. What the fuck? Just, what is wrong with you? Just shell out for a hooker like everybody else. If you can't get a girlfriend who's into what you're into, or a boyfriend, I don't judge, whatever. Just hire a fucking hooker. Get a professional. Get someone exactly. who at least is getting compensated for your right. weirdness. They're paid to professionally deal with your spooch. God damn. What the fuck, man? Hey, you, you know what? I, I I think the best way to get someone to go out with you is to, is to, to trick them into eating some of your... No, this wasn't about oh. go out with me. This was yeah, this... about be unwittingly a part of my gross kink, and yeah. then I'll go and stroke it thinking about it in, in my mom's basement. Uh, uh. This had nothing to do with go out with me. Just, <sighs> he planned this is the thing. He was like, you know what? I have an idea. I have the best idea I've ever had. He thought this was great. He thought this was as good as it gets. This, he thought he was, uh, he thought he was living the good life. And, and what, 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 what just blows my mind was, did he think they wouldn't know? I know, right? Like. This yogurt's they, very like, wow. salty. Right, like... You know? I, but, you know, those aren't, to my knowledge, similar flavors. No. So... <laughs> yeah, you know, yogurt doesn't come in semen flavor. It doesn't. I have never seen that in my local supermarket, and I have never heard Jamie Lee Curtis sell it. Um... I mean, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe, maybe semen keeps you regular, but Jamin Lee Curtis is. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, now, okay. Now we got Jamie. Now we're verging on Jamie Lee, Lee Curtis fanfic here, which is just weird. That's Jamie Lee Curtis doing commercials for semen yogurt. Yeah, what the hell? Keeps you regular. Somebody make that video. <laughs> it's the internet. Somebody probably already has. God damn. Oh, people, the sealed yogurt is fine. Why? Eat your yogurt. Eat your Activia. Yeah. Have your regular day. Why, why don't we get back into our wheelhouse and away from the semen? How, how many times can we say semen on the show tonight? Let's find out. If you want. Do we have anything about guys in the Navy? No, no. Damn. But we we we're back in our uh, we we've got naked, we've got crazy, we've got fighting. How is semen not in our wheelhouse? We're more of the we're we're more of the. Yeah, you're right. God, that's it's sad. a natural extension. Yeah, like it's going to get to the point where naked crazy is no longer good enough for this bit, and it's going to have to be ejaculate crazy. <laughs> Well, it's going to have to be some crazy fucker ran around naked, went on a rampage, wrecked 17 cars, and then jacked off on each and every one of them in order to make it on this show. Well, we've got a, we've got a naked crazy man. But it, I, know, I know the story is naked man arrested after fighting with officers. I know you're like, oh, it's just a... But wait, this gets a little better. Ooh, you, you just went all strobe light and shit on my Skype. I did? Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, a man apparently high on meth 
entered a Sacramento welding shop and then fought with police police officers. Police officers. I can I can talk before being arrested. Now wait for it. This this is the best part. Um, shop owner Chris Johnson <coughs> called police after escorting <coughs> Jose Alea, uh, who asked for a job interview out of his shop. I turned around and I'm like, whoa, Johnson said of seeing the nude man. He said something about how he was looking for work and he was good with his hands. I don't know why a naked dude would be in my shop. <laughs> but Alea stayed outside the shop, so Johnson called 911. Um, his brother Eric arrived just moments later. He appeared to be whacked, Eric said of Alea. He was wasted. So we've covered that. When officers arrived and attempted to, to detain Alea, he became combative, and eventually both officers, a man and a woman, were on the ground wrestling with him. When Alea grabbed on the female officer's hair, that's when the Johnsons and others jumped in to help, including one man who held a hamburger in one hand while lending the other to the effort. It, it's like an inception of naked crazy. It just <laughs> We gotta go deeper. There was like five people on him, still having a hard time holding him down. One dude holding a hamburger. There's, I love this. There was only so many parts you could grab. Oh, there's parts you can grab that'll make him stop fighting, I guarantee. So let, let's follow this. I guarantee. Let's, yeah, the, uh, someone, people in channel are going, the aristocrats. Yeah. Let, let's, let's follow this, this sequence back. So you get up one day, you go to work, you're at your job, suddenly a naked man shows up, asks to be employed, says he's good with his hands, and before you know it... Presumably you do not work at a male strip club. Yeah, it's a welding shop. So, so before That's you, so not safe, going into a welding shop naked, oh my no! god! No! That's one of the places you don't want to be naked. There are many, There's but really especially... Really metal there, all everywhere! So, and suddenly your day ends and you're on the ground with a couple of cops and a guy with a hamburger and you're wrestling a naked person. Hi. Given the amount of hot metal they had at their disposal, how did it wound up being such a protracted fight? That, you, you never wake up one morning and think, you know, my day's going to end with me grasping a naked man on the ground with some cops and, and a hamburger. You we know, never. some people do. Some people do. Some people do. Some and those people mostly probably live in Vegas or maybe Amsterdam. I don't know. Or they make good money in porn. Like, I know porn, that yeah. it's hard to figure out what to wear to the job interview. <laughs> I know that's tough for everybody. Like, do you still wear a suit? Do people wear suits anymore? If it's, if it, you know, if it's like not a super corporate environment, like what's business casual? Like, I know that's tough. But naked, almost never the way to go. Did he at least do some grooming before he went? It doesn't say. It, it doesn't. Because, you know, that would just be polite, I would think. Call me crazy. Well, it looks like he had something on his head. Yeah, what is that on his head? What is that? I don't is know. It a hair it looks like or? Let's get a bigger picture. Or something. I don't, I've, got a, I've got the big picture up. Can you guys at home figure out what the hell that is? Like, it doesn't cover the back of his hair. Yeah, I have no so, idea. Is that it's a not shower like cap? A cap of it type. It's like something wrapped around the front of his head. Like I don't know. Like a makeshift turban made out of really thin curtains or something. I don't know. But it's special. So, um... Our last story tonight... We were kind of past the Pokemon generation, you and I, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we But it was a big deal and everybody loved it. You know, it was big with the kids, the Pokemons and whatnot. And to this day they still have like the card tournaments and the game tournaments and stuff and you know they have Many the card people have tweeted me hippo Pokemon things. Yeah. Uh, they have a, they have a, they have a big they have bunches of tournaments about the stuff and uh, they're international and they have conventions like we go to the cam and the vampire LARP and stuff they have conventions for that too. <sighs> I 
I, I have... All right, this headline is innocuous enough. You, you're gonna ha you gotta dig down before you get to where this this goes off the rails. Spanish Pokemon <laughs> team disgraced. <laughs> Headline's amazing. Are you kidding me? <coughs> Did you read? Oh, look at the picture. Oh my god, look at the picture. Um, <laughs> they illustrated it with sad Pikachu. This past weekend saw the Pokemon Video Game Championships hit Birmingham, UK, with teams traveling from all over Europe at the shot at the prize. While the event itself went off without a hitch, um, we've heard of unpleasant rumbling, I've heard rumblings of an unpleasant occurrence along the way. Um, this, an unsavory, the, uh, eyewitnesses talked about an unsavory incident involving the Spanish team, a hotel corridor... And human feces. After 30 to 40 minutes in my room, relaxing with a quick snooze, I awoke to the sound of banging coming from down the hall where the Spanish team were staying. It seems that at some point they had turned up, and when we went to the Weather Spoons, the Spaniards had decided to have a quote, poo fight in the corridor, and this had upset the staff and several guests, naturally at the hotel. Enough to call the police to have them leave. All right, I don't know how it translates from English to Spanish or from Japanese to English to Spanish, but it's important to note that it is Pikachu, not Pikadu. E. coli, I choose you. Yeah, no. Yeah, it it that there is no scatachu. No, there is no feces or are. I don't really know how Pokemon names work, obviously. There, there, is, there is no poop Pokemon. There isn't. There's a rock type. There's water type. There's electric type. There's fire type. There's psychic type. There is no poop type. There Which is, is kind of surprising considering it's Japan. Yeah, it is, isn't it? But, you know, I mean, you can buy little stuffed animals of poop and urine in Japan. Like, to give your kids. I don't know why you would, but you can. There is no poop type Pokemon. Just how do you okay, we've we've been at conventions. We've been at lots of conventions. And they get kind of nuts and they get kind of weird. I you were you did not attend GhettoCon. Oh I did. Oh, you did, you I were there too, was, yes. Okay. Some dude cornered me and told me I look like Nicole Kidman and Moulin Rouge and how I couldn't did we get rid miss of miss each other. I was I was there too. That was the best worst con ever. How do we miss yeah. each other? Um, I was already on duty one night. That was fun. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so we've been to GhettoCon. That's probably there the drive-by. Yeah, there was a drive-by. Yeah. I've never been to a convention that has devolved into people actually flinging their own poop. I've, I've never, never. Have you? No. Even the they're asking, they're asking us what GhettoCon is. Now we have to explain that. Uh, well, all right, let's get, we'll get this done. We'll explain it. But, yeah. Um, the bull shooters incident with the dart throwers who were harassing the. Oh my god! Players. Every single time I got into the elevator at that convention, somebody asked me if I was the band camp girl because American Pie had just come out. Yeah, that that th th oh, that was no, bad. You. That was bad, but you know, no <laughs> poop, no poop. How does it? How do you? How drunk, stone, stupid? Do you get to go? You know what? This uh, this con. It's been fun. We've got the card games, got the video games. We're having a great time. But you know what would really make this the time of our lives? Steve, shit in your hand. It's go time. I bet those elevator parties are looking pretty good right now. Yes, they are. You know what? Because at least they weren't poop elevator parties. <laughs> as annoying and awful and, and asinine as the elevator parties were, Someone just sent me a poop Pokemon. Oh god. There apparently is one. It's it's not a really a poop Pokemon. No. I'm sending it to you. This looks legit. I don't know. Let me look at this. It's called Muck. muck. That's not poop, that's sludge. Oh, okay. That's not poop. Muck is not poop. Stop it. <laughs> I I know nothing of Pokemon, so that's you know. not poop. Stop it. 
<coughs> You're awful. I didn't do it. No, you didn't do it. They did it. There, okay. you, you are. My audience is awful. So. Someone sent it to me, and I, I don't, I didn't know if it was legit. <sighs> so what, what did we learn tonight? We learned that um, even in hard times, if you have to give a gift and you have no money, make something. Macrame. Ma macaroni even, sculpture. Even a macaroni sculpture. Yes. Don't go steal shit from dead kids. Mm -mm. That's just creepy. Well, and tacky. Yeah. Um, we've learned that you can't say fuck the king of Thailand, but in Thailand, it's perfectly okay to make a Ronald McDonald Hitler and, and you know. And that that is fucked up looking. Like, as though Ronald McDonald's not fucked up looking enough. <laughs> like, if that is not automatically the stuff of nightmares. Yeah. Because Ronald McDonald is goddamn terrifying. Goddamn, yes. Do you need to put Hitler's face on that shit? No. No. Okay. At least they left Grimace alone. Um, if you're going to make a fake ID and attempt some sort of impersonation, uh... Don't put on a picture everyone in the fucking world knows. Or someone three decades older than you. Or three decades older than you. At least try! Unless you have really lived hard, and you look three decades older than you are. Why do you need a fake ID at 41 anyway? Well, he's probably trying to defraud the bank. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, he was trying to open a fake bank account. It was... Uh, okay, yeah, alright. Fraud! And if you're, you know, not a very confident fraudster, I'd, I, I would not would not recommend him to my friends, is, mm -hmm. is all I'm saying. Um, No one wants to see your dick. No one wants to drink your spooge unless they specifically ask or you have paid them to do so. Uh, 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 that's just I don't whoa. I don't care if Rush Limbaugh thinks every semen is sacred. Uh, you don't feed that shit to people without their prior consent. Uh, uh, uh. <coughs> I'm just that story just oh god. He planned it. He woke up that morning just excited to do it. Well, and here's a question. Like he got it in the spoon. So here like did he aim at the spoon or oh. did he like do the cup thing and then scoop it out with the spoon. Like, there are logistics that I'm curious about. <laughs> I don't want to know. I don't want to know. There's like three people in the chat who've consecutively been like, Tara, please stop. Please, please stop. Oh, no, don't. Just moving on. Um, <laughs> it's what I do. If you need time away from the kids, <laughs> get a hobby, go on vacation, community center. Um, yeah, you know, see a movie, power walking, rock don't, climbing. Don't set cars on fire. Not, not arson. Just, just don't. arson is not an acceptable fun time activity. No, no, and don't take your kids with you while you do it. No, because. Mm -mm. You know, they That's not gonna earn them the building a fire merit badge. No. Cause at two years old, they imitate shit. You'll wake up one morning and they'll be you they'll have a match in one hand and a bottle of WD forty in the other and a big fucking grin. You watch Although to be fair, if you live in Australia, that might just be called survival training. <laughs> Here's how to set any fucking thing you can find on fire, that might actually be pretty good parenting in Australia, because that whole fucking continent wants you dead. Um, let's see. Uh, I, I guess we learned that uh, for a, if you're going out for a job interview, um, dress, We're close. dress to impress. Dress for the job you want, not <laughs> the job you have. And if your job is naked meth addict, dress a level up. Yeah. Dress like a clothed meth addict that day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and we, we're going to need to explain GhettoCon now. Well, we'll get to it. Um, okay. But, but uh, we also, I guess, we learned that conventions. Um, it's a place to relax, have fun with your friends, and get a little crazy. But um, fecophilia is a little too crazy. I think, in general, between that and the yogurt, we can say. Oh. 
keep your bodily excretions to yourself unless specifically requested otherwise. Yeah. 